Extreme winter and difficult working conditions. This is construction site of 884 megawatt Suki Kanari hydropower project. In cold and icy weather, the construction activities were never stopped to deliver the one of the early harvest project being developed under CPEC. Let's unfold the construction activities being executed under harsh winter. Suki Kanari Hydro Power Project, located in Kagan Valley of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. It is a diversion type hydropower project featuring high head and long tunnel. The dam and the power intake stand near Andera Bella village along the bank of Kunhar River, keeping 256 kilometers from Islamabad at the altitude of 2,409 meters. Due to the high altitude, the weather remains comfortable in summer, and severe cold in winter and mercury level drops which freezes everything. However, due to the tight schedule of the project, the suspension of work in severe weather conditions was never an option. The project management team planned in such a way that different construction activities continued without stop. During pouring of the concrete, the best international practices and project standards were implemented. The stipulated temperature of concrete starting from the batching plant during transportation until completion of pouring is being maintained. The additives such as antifreeze and early strength agents were used to speed up the setting and hardening of concrete at low temperature. The access roads were cleaned regularly and industrial salt is being utilized for de-icing. Twenty-three kilometer long headrace tunnel is on the right bank of Kunhar River and being excavated through drilling and blasting method through eight access edits. More than 50% excavation has been done so far. On January 7, bursts of cheers sounded at the construction site of Suki Kanari Hydro Power Project. The team warmly celebrated the breakthrough of two headrace sections. This was the first breakthrough of Headrace Tunnel and completed 28 days ahead of the schedule, marking a new chapter in the project implementation. The 7 meters diameter horseshoe-shaped tunnel passing through the relatively high mountainous terrain, including some faults. The overall progress of the Headrace Tunnel is good however at some sections, poor geological conditions are affecting the advance. Almost two kilometers long twin penstocks consist of pressure tunnels and pressure shafts. The penstock group divided into three parts namely upper, middle and lower pressure tunnels and pressure shafts. Prior to the pilot hole drilling for middle pressure shaft, the consolidation grouting is in progress in one of the penstock. Due to the poor ground conditions, thousands liters of cement slurry has been injected for improving the ground. At the first day of year 2021, the drilling of pilot hole for middle pressure shaft has been commenced.
The excavation works of lower pressure tunnels and pressure shafts are in progress. The expansion of re-aiming hole is being done with drilling and blasting method. Considering the importance of the structure and geological conditions, the strict safety and construction measures were implemented. At the end of the headrace tunnel, a surge shaft is under construction to neutralize the hammering effect of water due to sudden shutdown of units. 234 meters deep pilot hole had already been completed. The excavation and supporting of upper chamber is underway. The construction activities of the underground powerhouse complex are at full swing. The civil and electromechanical works are in progress side by side. The both bridge cranes having maximum capacity of 225 tons each are fully functional and taking part in the loading and unloading activities. The powerhouse cavern is housed with four Pelton turbines and electromechanical activities are in progress. The distributors for unit number 3 and 4 have been installed. The fabrication work of unit number 3 is in progress. The manifold area associating to the all generating units are almost ready. The track has been laid down for shifting of steel penstock. The five pieces of distributor has been installed with high accuracy and precision. Later on, the fabrication works and quality assurance tests were conducted on site with experienced staff. The preparation for hydrostatic testing is on the go. The structural works of erection bay number two are continued with full pace and near to completion. The erection bay number one had already been completed. The powerhouse and transformer hall are interconnected with internal access tunnel. The passage will be used transporting of 13 single phase transformers. To catch the planned schedule, the structural activities are going on with full efforts. The concrete lining of the cable tunnel is in progress. The 285 meters long cable tunnel will provide passage to evacuate the power through cables and interconnected with switchyard. To install the control gates for tailrace tunnels, four vertical shafts have been excavated. Recently, the excavation of the last vertical shaft has been concluded. The project is expected to be operation by December 2022. Let's hope the project catch the planned timeline and contribute positively to manage the country's energy outages. Allah be praised. Thanks viewers for watching.
Thumbs up if you like. Write us your valuable suggestion in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more informative and exciting videos about energy projects. Share the video link if you feel value.